to my favorite bicep machine ever made. I say the gains I made from 23 to 24 was from this and I didn't use it the whole time, but this is it, man. This is fatigue management at its finest. This is stabilization at its finest. Like Humberto was talking about on the show, your standing dumbbell curls, your rate of perceived exertion is gonna be way higher than it is using something like this. And I'm able to load this motherfucker. The results it's produced, I can't deny it. My arms never look good, now they do. All right, it's Sunday of some month on some day. <laughs> Oops, hold on, let me look at the date. All right, yeah. So here we are, gentlemen, once again at the Acadiana Muscle to train back and arms. It is Sunday, August 11th, and we're gonna get after it. The same way we've been getting after it for the last two, three years that I've been training pure, strict, heavy duty 3.0. We're gonna train with 100% effort. We are gonna prioritize our weak areas and we are going to specifically target our muscles with mechanical tension and less stabilization. That's the keys to success, gentlemen. If you wanna get bigger and get better, that's what you need to do. 100% effort, a few sets, allow yourself to recover from them and be precise with your exercise selection. Meaning, make it stable, the more stable, the better. You don't see the Primark coming in here doing heavy bent over barbell rows. You don't see them doing deadlifts. But what you see when I turn around is that right there. Look at that. See all that? Well, is all that shit needed to get that? No, I just told you what you need to do that. And the way I improved these, I just said it. That was a weak area. That was a strong area. I made this one better and I made these better. And I just told you how. So we're gonna get after it. What I realized I did wrong the last training session was trying to train my arms first before I did my back stuff. I wanna prioritize that upper back. So we're gonna go and start with that low angle row, that Kelso shrug, something I picked up from Paul Carter. Thank you, Paul Carter. That made a big difference. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do uh, our biceps after that. And then we're gonna just do our standard pull down and then our triceps. The reason I'm gonna put biceps before the pull down is because frankly, my lats are so fucking big already. I wanna put the effort that I have when I can have the most effort to apply to my biceps with the least fatigue after prioritizing my upper back. So that's the order of operations, right? I wanna be 100% fresh to hit that upper back row. I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna put 100% effort with the fatigue I established from that onto my biceps. Then I'm gonna hit my lats. Then I'm gonna hit my tries. Now the triceps I wanna bring up, but I've got other pressing movements on the chest and shoulder day. So my triceps get worked. They get worked with a little more frequency and that's cool. Everything works out well, everything's improved. So let's get after it. All right, so trying something fresh, something new. It's real heavy, man. It's a lot of weight on here. So I decided to add these blocks in. That way I'm not fully stretched out, trying to get set up to grab the other one, fatiguing myself before I get reps in, having that kind of shit going through my head before I start a set, is just not ideal. So what I think is gonna happen is just, I'm gonna set up way easier, start my first rep, these blocks are gonna drop, and then I'm gonna go over to ride into the set. Got three plates and a 35 on here, running out of room to add weight. And then I guess we'll add bands to it to keep progressing on it in the future. But um, let's get after this. If I can get four reps, that's excellent. If I can get 10 reps, that's excellent. If I go to 30 reps, that's good too. But then I should have used a whole lot more weight. But um, now I'm going to be shooting for six to eight. Scapular retraction at the bottom, you know, full reps. Working this upper back. It's heavy. I'm stalling. I'm scared. It's heavy, man. It's heavy. Ooh, here we go. The blocks were a fucking amazing idea. That was so good. That felt so much better to start my set like that. I mean, I, I know I crushed my last session with three and a 25. I added 10 pounds to each side. 
and murked the reps. That was solid. That felt good. What a set. Oh man, that was awesome. Let's see how biceps feel. Yeah, buddy! All right. <clears throat> to my favorite bicep machine ever made. I say the gains I made from 23 to 24 was from this. And I didn't use it the whole time, but this is it, man. This is fatigue management at its finest. This is stabilization at its finest. You know, like Humberto was talking about on the show, your standing dumbbell curves, man, curls, your rate of perceived exertion is gonna be way higher than it is using something like this. And I'm able to load this motherfucker. The results it's produced, I can't deny it. You know, I, I can't deny it at all. My arms have never looked good. Now they do. I be mired them every leg day. Every leg day, I, I look over at the camera. I'm like, yeah, huh. Oh. Be back at the 85 pounds. Let's we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure what I left off at. I think it was six, six, seven reps last time. So we're gonna shoot for eight. That's why I'm feeling a little funny. Kind of tweaked up my wrist at work, pulling myself up on an excavator with my loaded bag and everything. But let's we'll see how it goes. I think I'm gonna prioritize this arm first. So fuck it, no more talking. Let's get to work, I'm scared. I was violent. I wasn't fighting no demons. I just wanted to give everything I had. It wasn't trauma. I wasn't anything dark. That was elation at being to produce forces I have never produced before. That's being on the mountaintop and screaming down to the world that you're there, that you made it. Oh, I felt good, baby. I felt really good. It's like halfway through the set, I got a second wind. And I'm not apologizing for the yelling. It's the reason I train in a hardcore gym with no AC. If somebody gets offended by that, <laughs> whatever. If they think that it's unnecessary or it's putting on a show, they don't know what hard training is. They haven't pushed themselves like that. No. I'm excited, I'm not gonna be quiet. I ain't quiet when I fuck my old lady. I ain't gonna be quiet when I train. I'm gonna enjoy myself. Everybody gonna know how I'm feeling. Daddy's a screamer. Lord, protect this arm. <clears throat> God, yeah. So I said this arm was feeling a bit funny and I did feel a little something in my forearm. So I kind of just adjusted the way I was pulling, tried to lean less into that. Still had a great set. This was a big win this week. The shirt went from patches of light green to completely dark green on that one. All right, giving you guys a little bit of a different angle. Hope it looks good, we'll see. I'm gonna go for all time heavy weight on this. I'm tired, <laughs> my back hurts a little bit. Injection in the lat on the right side, but fuck it, fuck it. Gotta train, baby. Same old shit, guys. 100% effort, 100% effort. Six to eight reps.
about to use some momentum if I went any further on that. Oh, uh, I was tripping halfway through the set because my music cut off, man. I thought my recording stopped. Whoo! Another good set, another good day. I'm happy with progress today, man. <laughs> man, I sure love being Mr. Heavy Duty. Ooh. Yeah, I did 12 sets off camera to get a tricep pump before I came to do this. <laughs> Psych. Y'all know better than that shit. I'm gonna do a push down, baby. I like this easy curl bar. I like where the curve is on the outside. It's a really nice width. Feels perfect to me. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. You could see it hitting, boy. Bam! Oh, God. I just wanted to appreciate that. And I hope you did too. <laughs> what another great training session. Four sets. Yeah, four sets. Whew. Low angle row. Seated bicep curl. Lat pull down. Tricep push down. Felt amazing. Uh, blew our previous progress out of the water, you know. Testament to the system. Stimulus plus rest equals adaptation. Our adaptation is hypertrophy specific, which means I am verifiably bigger and stronger every time I train. And that is how you get long-term success. You can have the perfect diet that won't give you the best stimulus and that will not ensure adaptation. Oh. So, thank you for watching Heavy Duty Crew. Train hard, train intense, get dense, and as always, give 100% effort to whatever it is you set your mind to. And I'm out, I'll see you guys next time.